Hey everyone, welcome back to the Coding Ninja channel and today we will be going over what is source code management. Basically, source code management is a software tool that allows a programmer or a team of programmers to manage their source code. So let's scroll down a little bit and here we're going to talk about the benefits of source code management. So the first one is backup and restore. So when we're working with source code management, we can uh, back up our files and we can save them at any moment and it can be restored from the last saved. We're able to synchronize our code so programmers can get the latest code and be able to fetch up-to-date code from the repository. We're also able to do short and long-term undos. So what that means is we're able to, when we're working with a file, if it messes up, we can do a short-term undo to the last version, or we can do a long-term undo, which would basically roll back to a previous version. And we're able to track our changes. We can track the changes when someone make any changes. Uh, we will be able to see their commit messages for the changes that they have done. So we'll be able to see the ownership of the commits that has been made on the branch, uh, basically our master branch. And also we can do branching and merging. So this is very important in source code management. Where it be, we'll be able to create a branch uh, for our source code so that we can create our own changes, changes on it and then we can merge it back into our master branch. So let's go down here. So you might be wondering, is there some type of difference between VCS version control and SCM source code management? So they sound similar, but there's a difference. So when you think of source code management, you basically think of all of these individual items that come together that form source code management. Version control system is part of our source code management. So, so we, we in source code management, we'll be able to check out all of our versions. We're able to manage them. We're able to see all the different types of versions that we have. In source code management, we also be able to check our backup and we'll be able to restore. We'll be able to do undo features, track changes. We'll be able to synchronize our code and we can do branching and merging and we can also know the ownership of def the different types of commits that our team uh, puts into our branches. So that's the difference. So version control system is basically to manage versions of our code. Source code management is an uh, overarching idea of all these different types of features that we can use to benefit our development. So let's scroll down here. So let's talk about the different types of version control. So uh, the main ones are that they are there are centralized and decentralized version control. So the f we'll go over each of them. So the first one we'll be going over is the centralized version control. So <clears throat> In the centralized version control, the server is where we have all of our code stored there. We won't be storing any of the code in any of our workstations. So any developer won't be storing their rep the, the repository on their workstation. So if they want to make changes, they would have to go to the server that's holding the repository to make any of those updates or their commits. Uh, if they want to merge, they would have to all do, do that in their own repository, at their repository and at the server. So the difference between a centralized and a distributed one is that even though the server has, their, has the repository, all of the workstation also has their own repository. So if we are making changes in our own computers, we be able to merge the changes on our computer. And when we're ready, we can update 
our server that is holding our repository with all those new changes. And we can also pull any new changes from the server repository. So the difference is a centralized one, the server is holding uh, our repository and we have to access the repository. We have to go through the repository to make those types of changes. But in a distributed uh, control system, which is this one, we don't have to do that. We can make those changes in our local machine, which is our local computer, and then everything can be updated back to the server. So that's the difference between a centralized and a decentralized uh, version control system. So that's the basics of uh, source code management.